Okay, thanks, Justine and Brian. Right now, I'm at Frank X Stadium with head baseball coach Mick Aoki. And Mick has led the Irish to be a top 25 ranked team so far this season. And we are very pleased to have him with us today to talk about this unique baseball field. Mick, thanks again for joining us today. Thanks for having me. No problem. Now, the field doesn't look like any other baseball field that I've seen. Mick, where is the dirt? <laughs> Uh, we don't have a, a lick of dirt on this entire field unless somebody walks it in on their feet. So it's a nice maintenance thing for us. Uh, we don't have to do a whole lot of weight, uh, maintenance. Um, from a field maintenance standpoint, there's very little as well. And it's able to play throughout the course of the year regardless of um, you know, what the temperatures are like. If we've gotten a little precipitation that particular day. About the only thing that keeps us is, you know, one of our snowstorms in January or February. Certainly right. Now, what factored into the decision, you did mention the weather, uh, to take the dirt out altogether? I think probably the weather was the biggest deal. I think the other deal is, is the field maintenance thing because a college baseball field gets so much play on it. We don't have a practice facility. This is our practice facility. Um, we host camps and tournaments throughout the course of the year, and keeping a field up with that type of wear and tear on it is really difficult. And then the other thing is, is the weather factor here in South Bend. And so we can continue to play on this until November or December, whenever the snow starts to really fly. We can get out here, and it's the exact same surface. We were fortunate enough to be able to practice on about a half a dozen times in, in January before the snow really came in February. And the field is no different today than it was in January, than it would be in July, and so it gives our kids a really consistent playing surface upon which to compete, but also to practice and continue developing. Right. So you did mention the baseball players. Now, the, did they have any advantages with using the turf rather than, say, a regular natural field? Well, I think one of the big advantages is the idea that we can we were able to get out here in January. That's, I've been here five years. It's the first time that we've been able to be out here in January, in spite of even three years ago, as good as the weather was three years ago here. Uh, a natural surface just isn't going to recover in January to be able to play. So for us to be able to do that has been great. We can stay out on it until November, into December. We can do things. Um, and, you know, as long as it's reasonably warm um, or reasonably cold, whichever the way you want to look at it, we can be out here, which is nice. Right. Like today. It's a little breezy out here today and a little on the chilly side. But I know, Coach, that you're now finishing up the regular s the conference schedule, and you've got a few other games still before the ACC tournament. So what can we expect from the Irish down in Durham uh, for the next game? Well, uh, first of all, we still got to qualify to get down there. So uh, between now and then, we hope that we qualify. We think we're in a good position to be able to do that. But, you know, I think we're a team that's based on pitching and defense, and then hopefully we continue to get some timely hitting to, to win these things. But we've got an important week ahead of us. We've got Michigan State coming in here this week, and, and uh, Sacramento State out of California. So that's a little unusual to see a California team here in South Bend. Right. And then a Louisiana team at the end of the week with Northwestern State coming in. So um, a good week for us, and I uh, hope to rebound from a, a tough weekend down in Winston-Salem this weekend. Okay, great. And also, tell us about these gold helmets that we have here. So, again, this is new for this season, right? It, it is, yeah. These things have uh, actually probably been in existence for about 10 days at this point. And um, we are, you know, sort of following suit on what football started, I guess, probably two years ago, I think. Um, then I think our hockey team has been wearing that, that really shiny gold, and our lacrosse team, our men's lacrosse team has as well. And so we wanted to sort of follow suit. Uh, seems like a, a, a fitting way to have done it with you know Father Ted's passing this year and, and being able to put something on our head that replicates a little bit of the Golden Dome. Right. Nice and shiny and just off the hot presses, right? It's true. It's true. <laughs> Ten days old. Yeah. <laughs> we got it on here for ND Day. But again, thanks so much, Mikayuki, for stopping by with us, or at least having us stop by at the field to check it out. And again, now I'm going to toss it back to Brian in the studio.